Have you ever looked into someone's eyes and felt like you were staring into a storm, calm, mysterious, swirling with hidden worlds? Those rare, misty irises, neither quite blue nor green, neither hazel nor brown, hold within them whispers of centuries, migration, light, and ancient myths. They are the eyes that make you pause, the kind that linger in memory long after you look away. If you've ever wondered about the magic behind those eyes, hit that subscribe button now, because what we're about to explore is more than biology. It's a journey into identity, history, and the subtle poetry of light and genetics. You might think eye color is simple, blue, brown, green, but consider this, only a tiny fraction of the world wears the cloak of gray eyes. Estimates suggest around 3% of humanity gazes out at the world through gray-tinted lenses. In the United States, that number shrinks to less than 1%. Why so rare? And what makes gray eyes so distinct, so hauntingly beautiful? Picture this, a foggy morning near the sea. The sky is a soft blend of muted silver and ash blue, not the clear blue of summer, but a soft, shifting gray that feels alive. Now imagine that exact shade mirrored in someone's irises. They don't just look blue, they look like a hushed cloud of dawn, a hint of a storm brimming behind soft calmness. Under light, you might catch flecks of gold or chocolate brown hidden whispers along the rim of the pupil, like ancient secrets buried deep within. That is the gentle complexity of gray eyes. Long ago, back in 1843, the first clinical iris color classification recognized gray as its own distinct category, alongside blue, hazel, brown, and black. That means humans have been observing and cataloging the subtle haze of gray eyes for nearly two centuries. Even then, people understood that gray was not just a variant of blue. It was something wholly unique, layered, and rare. But how do you truly tell gray apart from blue? It isn't always obvious. Lighting tricks our eyes, shadows mute color, yet in certain light early morning or late afternoon when the sun is soft, gray eyes shift. The way they catch light, the way flecks appear and disappear, the subtle cloudiness around the pupil, all of this sets them apart. Some gray irises lean toward blue-gray, others glide toward green-gray or even hazel-gray. Hybrid tones bloom under the right light. Each pair tells a different story. To understand that story, we need to travel not just across geography, but across time. The first person with gray eyes remains anonymous, lost in prehistory. But science traces a compelling line. Gray eyes may share a distant connection with the same genetic mutation that brought about blue eyes. The same mutation affecting the Oka 2 gene, which scientists date back at least 50,000 years, may have laid the foundation. But while blue eyes might be a direct descendant, gray eyes emerged through subtle divergences in how our eyes scatter light and pigment. Even now, gray eyes are more common in certain corner of the world. Among the Shawia people in Northwest Africa, for example, in parts of the Middle East, Central Asia, South Asia, and notably across Northern Europe, places like Norway, Iceland, Sweden, Ireland, and Finland, zones touched by cold winds, shifting light, long winters, and gentle summers. And yet it isn't just about geography or climate. Throughout history, gray eyes have been woven into stories and myths. Ancient artists and storytellers painted deities with smoky, steely gazes. The Greek goddess tied to wisdom and war, often imagined with gray eyes, looked not at the world, but through it. In those tales, gray became more than color. It was a symbol of insight, of hidden knowledge, of subtle power. So what gives gray eyes their signature hue? Part of the answer lies deep within the eye's structure. Melanin, the pigment behind eye, skin, hair color, is at its lowest in gray-eyed individuals. Less melanin means less pigment to absorb light. Without that pigment, the way light scatters within the iris becomes critical. And here, where physics takes over in the softest, most poetic way. Imagine two different skis, one a crisp, clear summer sky painted in bright blue, the other a gentle overcast silver-gray horizon. The first glows because tiny air molecules scatter short wavelength light, blue dominates. The second dims because larger droplets or diffuse clouds scatter all wavelengths more evenly, mutting sharp color. In your eye, a similar principle applies. In blue eyes, light undergoes a process akin to Rayleigh scattering. Shorter wavelengths create that bright blue sparkle. In gray eyes, more collagen or structural particles within the iris causes light to scatter in a more diffused, even way. That's akin to what's called my scattering, no dominant color, just a softer, more elusive shimmer, 
the kind that seems to shift with mood, angle, emotion. If you were to dissect an eye, not that anyone reading this should, you'd find essentially dark brown pigment in all eyes, regardless of color, behind the scenes. That pigment alone doesn't explain blue, green, hazel, or gray. What we see is not simply pigment, it's light rearranged. Melanin levels, collagen density, iris structure, and how they interact with ambient light, all combine to crystallize the unique colors we recognize. In that sense, gray eyes are a symphony of light and structure, an optical illusion born from nature's subtle hand. But nature doesn't paint in absolutes. Sometimes gray eyes don't have zero melanin. Sometimes they carry minute traces. Sometimes they flirt with blue, green, or hazel. That's why gray, blue, green, gray, hazel, gray hybrids shapeshift based on season, weather, or what clothes someone wears. An iris perched between memory and mystery, defying certainty. But this raises a deeper question. If gray eyes are born out of reduced melanin and altered light scattering, almost like a painting woven from light, then why did such traits evolve in some populations and not others? Could it be simply random genetic drift? Or perhaps there is more, a dance between environment, survival, culture, and attraction. Consider Northern Europe. In the long, dim winters, when daylight is a prized rarity, lighter eyes could mean subtle advantages, perhaps in perceiving contrast or detecting movement in low light. Maybe subtle variations in eye structure offered evolutionary benefits. But then there's another twist. Gray eyes appear in surprising numbers in regions bathed by sunlight, North Africa, the Middle East. In those climates, being sensitive to light may seem like a disadvantage. And yet, gray eyes persist. That duality hints at something deeper. Beyond evolution, beyond biology, lies identity. Rarity becomes a canvas for uniqueness. In regions where dark eyes dominate, gray eyes become a shimmering anomaly, a trait that might draw attention, evoke curiosity. In a sea of commonality, gray stands out, a quiet rebellion, a soft exclamation. Maybe across generations, ancestors with pale irises found themselves seen, remembered, desired. And so the genes lingered, not out of necessity, but out of beauty, mystique, and story. Imagine a small village along the coast of Algeria. The midday sun bathes the clay houses in gold. Children chase each other through dusty lanes. Among them, a girl sits under the olive tree shade, her eyes pale as morning mist. Sunlight flickers across her hazel gray irises, catching specks of amber. In the world around her, warm, sunlit, full of life, her eyes hold a quiet contradiction, softness etched in stark light, subtlety carved amid brightness. She grows older. People whisper stories, her eyes are like the sea before dawn, calm but immense. Over time, perhaps someone chose her for love, for uniqueness, for the gentle storm hidden in her gaze. That gaze becomes a legacy carried forward. Stories like hers may have shaped the distribution of gray eyes across continents, not by climate, but by heritage, love, migration, and the random luck of genes. Yet gray eyes have always carried a vulnerability, Less melanin, less natural shield against harsh light. Many gray-eyed people report sensitivity under sun, glare, bright indoor lights. Imagine living in a world that often feels too bright, where every ray cuts a little sharper, every reflection whispers too much. And yet those eyes shimmer with calm, patience, subtlety. They endure. They endure because behind them lies resilience, not just of biology, but of identity. In a world that often celebrates loudness, boldness, contrast, gray eyes whisper, they don't scream blue, they don't glow green, they fade and reappear, shifting with light, mood, surroundings. They resist categorization, they resist assumptions, and maybe that's where their power lies. Because when someone with gray eyes meets your gaze, it feels like an invitation to slow down, to look deeper, to recognize the layers beneath the surface. It's a reminder that beauty isn't always vivid, sometimes it's subtle. That uniqueness isn't always flower bright, sometimes it's mist gray, shifting, elusive. Midway through this story, if you feel yourself drawn to these tailies of light, genetics, and heritage, share this video. Share it with someone who's ever looked into a pair of gray eyes and felt something stir. Let's gather stories in the comments. Where did those eyes come from and what do they say about us? Because I believe eyes are living history, they carry whispers of ancestors who walked across continents, who settled, merged, moved on, each pair a subtle blend of those journeys. And gray eyes, rare, shifting, 
perhaps remind us that sometimes the most profound stories are soft, layered, and quietly persistent. In all the lands where grey eyes appear, from frost-kissed fjords of Scandinavia to sun-baked villages by the Mediterranean, from arid plateaus of Central Asia to lush green hills, they connect people across climates and cultures. They are subtle thread woven through human history, tying far-flung lands with a shared touch of softness. But the story doesn't end with heritage or genetics. Grey eyes remind us of the intimate relationship between biology and perception, how light can shape identity, how environment and structure can dance together to produce something deeply personal. They remind us that color isn't fixed, it's fluid. That identity isn't always loud, sometimes it's a whisper. And in that whisper lies power. Because when we accept subtlety, when we honor nuance, when we appreciate the beautiful in the marginalized and rare, we enrich our gaze. We stop expecting every eye to shine the same way. We learn to see light, not just color. So next time you meet someone with gray eyes, lean in. Notice how their gaze shifts under different lights. Observe the faint flecks at the edge of their iris. Notice how those eyes might seem to change, to breathe, to whisper a quiet story. Maybe you know someone with gray eyes, or perhaps you have them. Or maybe this video stirred something inside you, a curiosity, a longing, a sense of connection. Tell me where was their ancestry? What stories do you imagine behind those eyes? Write them down below. Let's build a tapestry of stories behind every pair of gray eyes. And if this journey through light, memory, genetics, and human beauty moved you, if it made you pause, wonder, feel something, then please leave a like, subscribe, and share this exploration with others. Because stories like this deserve to travel beyond screens. They belong to all of us. Grey eyes may be rare, but their story, intricate, subtle, eternal, belongs to everyone who dares to look deeper.